Image files these days are getting bigger and bigger. Seriously, it's getting ridiculous. Here's a comparison. My old Nikon D50 here makes RAW files that are five or six megabytes. My new D810 here, the RAW files are upwards of 40 megabytes each. You want full frame, 14-bit uncompressed RAW on the D810? Those files are 75 megabytes each. Holy moly. Plus, all these newfangled DSLRs shoot video now, and those files aren't small. Needless to say, I've had to scale up my storage solutions over the years, and I periodically modify my backup plans anyway. So in this video, I will share my current solution with you. Let's start with my main storage. I have this old iMac, which has three external drives attached to it. First is this Western Digital MyBook 6 terabyte drive, which contains pretty much everything. All of my personal photos and files, all of my Snapchat photos, and all of my recent photography work. Anything that I think I might wanna get back into anyway. Now, next to this drive is its brother. It's the same drive, but it is the Time Machine backup. Apple has an easy to use backup system called Time Machine where it backs up at certain intervals, in my case, every hour. I have this first drive backing up to its identical twin using Time Machine so I can get into the latest handful of backups. It's handy in case I delete something and I think I need to go back. I can open the appropriate Time Machine backup and recover the files. And this drive basically holds as many as it can as many backups as it can, and then starts deleting the oldest backup to make room for the new ones. I also have a similar drive off-site that I periodically update to mirror my main storage drive. Now, the third drive here, it is a different kind. It is an older Western Digital two terabyte drive. This contains my iTunes library. I have a lot of old movies and music that I ripped into iTunes. I got rid of all of the CDs and DVDs, so this drive is kind of important. Okay, so that setup means that I have all of my files stored and backed up on site and off site, right? Not quite. I use this MacBook for almost all of my editing. I do my bookkeeping and my taxes on it. It is important. So I need to back this up also. The issue is that this guy is mobile. It wouldn't be practical for me to have to plug it in to one of my hard drives. So I have another bank of drives plugged into my wireless router. This is kind of a motley crew of drives. This MacBook's time machine is set to back up wirelessly to this Western Digital four terabyte in my book. There's also a twin to this one here, as well as two additional older drives hanging off the router. These are simply for temporary use if and when I ever need them. And for this white Western Digital My Cloud drive, this is where Raymond backs up his MacBook. All of the other drives that I've shown you are USB. This one is different. It is made to plug directly into the network and I was kind of experimenting when I purchased it. Now this means that I have all of my stuff backed up in Snapchat headquarters and I have the bulk of it backed up offsite. But that's not all. No, I have one more backup, a cloud service. I use Amazon Drive cloud storage. Everything is backed up there as well. It's also handy for those times when I need a temporary backup, like when I'm traveling. So that's it. That's how I store my files, how I back them up, and how I back them up again. All of my drives were originally purchased for primary storage or backup, and I've amassed a small army of drives over the years as my capacity needs have increased. I included a link in the description below to the biggest of my drives, the six terabyte MyBook. There's even an option there for an eight terabyte drive too. I'm not professing that this is the perfect backup method. It works for me, and it certainly does require manual interaction, especially with the offsite hard drive and the additional offsite storage with Amazon Cloud Drive. However, it gives me confidence to have both a redundant environment and one that I can interact with. This helps me assure that everything is working as planned and that I spot any problems right away. For me, backups are a necessary habit and having the right gear for that habit is as important as the gear that's gathering those images and videos in the first place. Now tell me, how do you store your files? Do you back them up in some way or multiple ways like me? Let me know in the comments below.